bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits So this is bit, individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. Now coming to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. These gives the input processing unit that is the CPU. execute that is which understands and that and, and as an output from the output devices this cpu consists of main less storage this is the cpu it consists of this is the same unit control arithmetic logic unit memory this is cpu is a computer component that actually executions in a program which tells what to do this computer its work in a part of the central process the data converts to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry used stored program instructions and here it central processing unit performs for each instruction first step is it gets that means just the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical for example arithmetic means subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores of this operation in memory or this step together called as time now coming to the memory Again, here in this having two types of primary memory and memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores information for retrieval. Human brain, it is stores 
say that it is a like a physics with capable of storing programs temporarily or permanently permanently is a secondary storage and temporary primary storage is nothing but why we call it as memory is a volatile memory the data liable to change or loss in case of power failure when of secondary is a permanent storage device when power failure we can data the memory of a computer can be directly accessed by the processing unit store the data in a primary then the computer access that is we can information it is a memory which is used to store and program frequently used which can be directed by the processing unit for for every application first loads in ram that is random access memory which makes it fast to access so this for to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming secondary memory external storage devices that is the data stores or information permanent the data cannot be directly processed unit in secondary memory it transfers the data into the main memory it transfers to the processing unit and we can access the data secondary memory refer external devices floppy disk magnet cds dvd generally slower memory but substantial amount of data range of terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need ports and connect see what are all the port port ref hard or is a connection for front or back of the computer port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to such as input and output device these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers any other peripheral on phys a computer port is a spotlight on equipment plug or a cables in this port divided into two groups signal trans serial port sends and receives one bit via wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires 
ports or typically require handshake where transfer type transfer rate and information is shared before send bend these pins or easier to replace on a cable than on a connector to the computer so it will use connectors for the fixed size of an interface if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports now come input devices in only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard mouse accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot access re reproduce information from the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated whatever it is pointed at input and sends those image the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device a for this is data from the computer usually we we'll see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer this is the two most common output devices used computer every computer has a monitor less screen card and video card this is about output all output devices this or output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer plotter projector projection plane com computer output microfilm speak headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the output devices about block diagram of a input devices cpu output devices memory storage device right what are all devices keyboard mouse devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory 
we have primary memory and secondary memory system as storage primary storage storage and cpu which process the computer what is a computer machine which has and processes it and sends the information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zero and one represents bit it is our bits that is abbreviated as binary it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bits holds a z so or one now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of eight bits it is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from zero that is on the right least significant bit zero here eight bits that is starting from zero to seven zero one two three four five six seven so left side is the most significant bit the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 as well 2 power 7 is 128 what about 8 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word or numbered starting zero to Fifteen. 
So this is bit, individual bit, and by, by, by set of eight bits, and, and a word is sixteen bits, which is two bytes. Now coming to the block. Block diagram of a computer. It consists of input devices. These gives the input to the processing unit, that is CPU. It executes, that is, which understands and processes that, and gives as an output. From the output devices, in this CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This CPU. This is a central processing unit which consists a control unit, arithmetic logic unit, and a memory. This is CPU. Is a part of the The component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit. Here the data converts input data mission as an output. Here it consists a highly coextensive set of electronic circuitry that executes program instructions. It This central processing unit four steps each instruction. The step is it gets that means the instructions from the memory. And the second step this decodes that instruction and direct necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic unit. These two steps are together first step and second step are together called as instruction time. Coming to the third step, arithmetic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not operations. That is, the ALU is given control 
performs the actual operation data. Of course, the result of this operation memory or this third and fourth step as execution time. To the memory again here in this memory we are having two memories. memory second memory that is memory is a a computer which stores data and in information for storing same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space For computer, it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage. And temporary is primary storage. Is nothing but why we call it as primary memory, volatile memory. The data is liable to loss in case of power failure. Where in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. When power failure, we cannot loss the data memory is a memory of a computer can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly which is used to store frequently programs frequently used programs which can be directly access processing unit for further purpose Every application on a computer first a RAM that is RAM memory which may be faster to access. First to an internal memory such as internal storage. Now coming to secondary memory. It first to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed in it in secondary memory it transfers the data into the main memory then it transfers the processing unit we can access the secondary memory refers to null devices such as floppy disk hard disk tape cds dvds etc slower memory but can substantial data in the gigabytes and terabytes all this peripheral now port sections for all the port port refer hardware peripheral is a 
connection found on the front or back of the the sport serves surface between the com and other peripheral devices in computer terms for as a parting device available option plus such as input devices these are all input and output for connecting to devices devices cpu we need and computer ports how many these connect monitors webcam cars or any others player a com is a specialized on a piece and to plug or a connects again in this port, divided into two groups A signal serial port and receives one time vertical wire pair to parallel port sends multis at the same over several set of wires after ports or connected the typically require hand shaking where transfer type transfer rate other necessary information head bif is sent bend pins these are easier to read on a can on a connector at so those common connectors for the size of an inter if that sides than we have better connectors rather than ports coming to in us input device allow for data to a computer it processes that the cpu and output to the outs the many used input devices keyboard mouse webcam mouse which accepts the input from the users that data to the computer it cannot accept reproduce information from the computer. coming to microphone it is sound gen input so sends that to a computer webcam it is just generated by what it is pointed at and sends those to the computer this is about devices coming to output devices put device is any that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that display or it is phase function exciter and printer two most common output devices used with a computer every computer that is a disc a sound card video card or all audio or output device a printer is very commonly computers the type of computer how the computer others may be a computer projector cd projection play com computer out film headphone display unit recorder these are all the outs put gram of a computer devices c put devices storage devices what are all the input devices board mouse put devices disk etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory some as storage and secondary storage and cp which given information this is diagram of a what is a computer which accepts the processes it means that processed info the output as a result this is the computer it is an electron which understand machine language that is ones rept is a digits bit is as digit defined as a unit of on a binary or it hold bit holds either zero now we'll byte is defined group of eight bits is called a bits in a byte or
isn't it one that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zero so we have eight bits that is starting from zero to seven zero one two three four five six the so left side is to significant bit offset how it represents two power zero or one two power two so on up to 10. that represents 0 is 1 as well 7 is 1 this is what about 1 byte it is said to be 1 word of 60 same as here 1 byte 8 bits a word is a group of bits or numbered in 0 to 10 because it is 16 bits this is bit individual and byte is set of 8 bits word is C, which is 2 bits. now coming to the of a computer of this this gives the processing unit that is cpu which exit that is which understands and processes that and put from the in between two consists of main memory as storage peripherals the cpu that is it consists this is a sending unit which consists of arithmetic logic unit, memory. This is CPU is a computer. This is the core actually executes the instruction in a program which tells the to do. And this computer its primary a part of the that is the processing unit. Here data convert data to information output. He consists a high extensive electronic circuit executes RAM instructions. And here this central process forms for, for each first step it gets fetches the instructions memory. And the second step, this decodes that and directs that necessary data from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are called as time and second step or together called as time. Now coming to the step, arithmetic executes or logical operations. Arithmetic means addition, multiplication, go on like that. Same as and or that is the ALU is given role and performs the actual operation on that. stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again here in this we are having two types of Primary memory and secondary memory. Memory is a brain of a which stores data and information for retrieval. For human memory is it is same as for computer store a space physical device couple of storing the programs or permanently it is said to be and temporarily is primary storage. But why we call it as Primary memory is a tile memory Data to change or in case of power failure. When secondary memory permanent storage device that means power failure we cannot lose the primary memory of a computer which can be directly by the central unit. 
data in a primary than the computer can be that is we get the information lastly it's a memory which or frequently programs programs directly access processing unit us every on a computer first ram access memory access it to access so this refers internal memory external storage now coming to second it refers to external storage that is the stores or storing is permanent it cannot be directly processing unit memory but it transfers into and then goes back to the from there this is the data memory refer external devices floppy disk magnetic disks dvds these are generally slower than but can substantial data in the range of terabytes all these peripherals we need now and connections with the port port ref hardware peripheral is a connection on the frack of the computer port serves as between the compute other computer devices in computer terms port a part of device for connection peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the and output devices think these input and output device for our cp port connections computer many uses connect web speakers peripheral devices physical layer the port is a specialty on a piece of to which or a connects again in this port divided into two groups base signal transfer serial port says one bit while wire pair coming to pass sends multiple at the same time over several set of wires offs are connected they require hand where tra transfer rate other necessary information paid before is sent bend pins pins or e place cable than on a connector attached so it was common to connectors the size of an interface that side than we are better connector than ports now coming put devices just only a input of data and it pro cpu and the output to the put devices the most commonly used input device keyboard microphone which accepts the input and send to the computer they cannot or reproduce information from the computer coming it receives sound generated by an input so sends that sound computer cam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed input and sends just to the this is about input to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the computer usually from the on projection it is physical example and printer two most common is used computer every computer that is a display a sound card video card which all output devices the output devices is also commonly used with depending computer and the computer is used. other output may be used with computer for example plotter projection plane computer output mic speaker headphone unit these are all the some of the output this is about block diagram of a computer input devices output devices devices all the input devices keyboard mouse this printer plotter play screen etc memory discussed about primary secondary memory same as to primary storage and and cpu which given information this is a book diagram of a what is a computer machine accepts data to sit and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer 
A computer is machine with machine language rows and ones. Bit is a digits. Bit is abbreviated binary. It is defined smallest unit of data on a binary. digital system it holds that is holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte is defined as a of 8 is called a byte. Bits in a represented 0 to 1. The right side least bit 0. And here we have that is starting from 7. 0, 3, 4, 5. So left side is the significant bit. And the off sense is 2, 2 power, 2 power 2, 2 power 1 up to 2 power that represents 0 is 1, 2 power 7, 8. This is 8 bit byte. It is said to be 1 byte. Word is a group of 16 bits. Some 1 byte is a word is a group of 8 bits. In a word or number starting from again to 15. It is a group of 6. So this is visual bit is 8 bits. And a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. A block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices this gives the input to the same unit that is CPU execute processes that and gives as an output output device in between this is of main memory as well as storage peripherals cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit with control unit, arithmetic logic unit and a memory. This is CPU of the computer component that acts the instruction organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and uh, does its primary part of the machine central processing here input data to it as an output. Here a highly extensive electronic circuit executes program instructions. Here it the processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step it gains fetches memory and the second this decodes that and direct necessary to be moved from memory to the logic unit. These two steps are called as time. First step and second step called as time. Now third step arithmetic law executes or logical law. For example arithmetic means fraction go on like that so, and or not operate it is, is given all as the actual operation on the data. This result of this operation or in a this third and fourth step called as exit. Now, memory. 
at memory we are have two types of primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a which stores data and for storing and same just like memory is it is store a space same as it is a store a like a physical device capable of or programs are really or permanently secondary store temporarily is is nothing but why we call it as primary memory wallet ta is liable to change or loss in case of power failure in case of secondary memory permanent store that means failure we cannot the data primary memory of a computer be directly accessed by the central processing unit the data in a primary then the computer can be accessed and accessed very fast it is used to frequently and programs frequently used which can be accessed by the it for application on first loads in ram that access memory is it to access so this refers internal memory external storage now coming to second it refers to external this that is uh, stores or it is storing is permanent that is directly processed by the processing unit in memory transfers the data first into the main memory and then it to the processing unit we can access secondary memory to all extras such as disk hard disk magnetic tapes dvds etc the lower than but can store substantial amount of data in the range gigabytes sites to connect all this, we need ports and connections we'll see port ref hardware peripheral is or connection on the front or back of the computer port serves as an interface the computer and computer peripheral in port is a part of device a connection for us such as and output device input and for is input device and output devices cpu we need ports and ports how many these monitors speaker or any other layer port is specialized outlet on a equipment a plug able connects in this port divided into two groups on the signal serial port sends and run at a time via a wire pair parallel port multiple bits time over of wire of or connected that are hand shaking air transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is before data is bend these pins or to replace on a cable on a connector computer so common to use for the fix of an if that is fixed you are using connectors ports to input input devices to for data to a, and that from the cpu sends the output output device the more used input box keyboard microphone keyboard which accepts the input user and sends the computer they can or reproduce the computer phone it receives sorted by an in and sends the to a computer coming time it receives images generated by whatever it is point at in sends those to the computer this is about in coming to output output any peripheral the data from the usually from the, on the projection or physical example monitor and printer this is common used with a every computer that is a display a sound card and video card which 
or all output devices this are all our output a printer is also very used with computers depending on their and how used others may be used computer for example plotter project lcd projection plane com computer output pro film speakers head phone visual display unit recorder these are all the some of the is about block diagram of a computer this output devices storage devices right what are all keyboard and output devices there display screen etc and memory about primary memory memory storage and secondary storage. cpu processes the action. this is about the of a computer what is it is a memory which acts and processes it sends the information to the devices this is a computer is a machine which and machine language that and once represents bit binary digits bit is read as digit it is a smallest data binary computer digital system it ho bits holds a or one now we will see byte find as a eight bits is called a bit byte or represented zero to one that is on the bit, that is the significant bit and here we have that is starting from seven zero one one two three four five six so left side is the significant bit and the options is two power zero power one two power three so on up to two that represents zero is one as well two is 128 what about 8 bit byte it is said to be 1 byte a verb of 16 bits same as here is a a, a word is a group of bits or numbers in 0 to because it is a group in bits bit and byte set of and 16 bits 2 bytes now coming to the block computer of input this gives the processing unit u executes understands and process and gives as an output from the output device this cpu contains memory and storage peripheral this is the that is it consists of this is a same unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the 
arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time now coming to the memory again here in this memory we are having two types of memories primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot loss the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fast it is a memory which is to to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directed by the processing unit for their purpose every application computer first load ram the access memory is it to access this refers to an in such as internal devices secondary memory external storage that is stores or storing is per data cannot be directly processing unit in c but pass the data into the main memory it transfers processing unit where we can access secondary memory all external such as hard disk tapes cds etc generally slower memory, but can substantial amount in the range of and terabytes so all this we need now four connections the port port hard r is a whole connection found on the front the back of the computer those as an the computer and other peripheral devices in computer port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices 
for connecting these input devices and output for our CPU ports and connections. That's how many uses these connect monitors, webcam, speakers, or any other peripheral devices on physical layer. A computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again in this port, it is two groups based signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer type, transfer rate, and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. Size fixed than better rather than ports. Now coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the units that data to the computer accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, this is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we we'll see that from the, on the display. Projection of physical example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card. Which are all output devices? These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Output devices may be used with a for example projector, LCD projection, com, computer, microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. Right? What are all the input devices? Keyboard, mouse and output devices, printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory, same as storage, primary storage and secondary storage and CPU which processes the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices 
as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have a starting from 0 to 7 0 3 4 5 6 seven so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices these gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a part of the computer this is the component that actually executes the organized in a program which tells the computer and this computer does its primary work of the machine central processing here data can input data function as an Here is a highly extensive electronic circuitry executes store instructions, and here this central unit performs for each. First, it gets fetches the instruction the mem, and this yes, this decoration and the R data from memory to the automatic lot. These are together instruction. First step. or together called as time now third step arithmetic logic units arithmetic or logical for example addition subtraction multiplication 
same as logic or not that is who is given and actual operation data this stores the result in memory register this step to get execution time coming to the this memory we are having types of memory primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as the primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot loss the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the ram that is random access memory which makes it it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory it transfers back to the process from there we can access the secondary memory all external devices such as hard disk tapes cds etc these are generally slower memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port 
sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port, sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then we are using better rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input to a computer. It processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer. They cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we will see that from the, on the display, projection or it is physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card. Which are all output devices? These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer. For example, plotter, projector, LCD projection plane, com, computer output microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. Right? What are all the input devices? Keyboard, mouse and output devices, printer, plotter, display screen etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory, same as storage, primary storage and secondary storage and CPU which processes the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result. This is the computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. This is a binary digits. That is bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds, that is bit holds either 0 or 1. Now we will see byte. Byte is defined as a group of 8 bits. It is called a byte. Bits 
इन ये बाइट और रिप्रेजेंटेड फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन दट इज बिट ऑन द राइट साइड दट इज द लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट जीरो एंड हियर वी हैव एट बिट्स दट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू सेवन जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सो लेफ्ट साइड इज द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट एंड द ऑफसेट हाउ इट रिप्रेजेंट इज टू पवर जीरो टू पवर वन टू पवर टू टू पवर थ्री सो ऑन अप टू टू पवर सेवन दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स टू पवर जीरो इज वन एज वेल टू पवर सेवन इज वन ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज वॉट अबाउट एट बिट वन बाइट इट इज सेट टू बी वन बाइट ए वर्ड इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्सटीन बिट्स सेम एज हियर वन बाइट इज ए एट बिट्स ए वर्ड इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ एट बिट्स बिट्स इन ए वर्ड और नंबर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अगेन जीरो टू फिफ्टीन बिकॉज इट इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ सिक्सटीन बिट्स so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices this gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time coming to the memory again here in this memory we are having two types of memories primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain 
memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot lose the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the ram that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit from there we can access the data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer so 
it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports now coming to input devices input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane com computer output microfilm speakers headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 
8 bit 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits. Same as here, 1 byte is a 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. So this is bit, individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. Now coming to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. These gives the input to the processing unit that is CPU which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices. In between this CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals is the CPU that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is CPU is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction time. First step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not operations. That is, the ALU is given control and performs the actual operation on the data. This stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again here in this memory we are having two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Same just like our human brain. Memory is it is storage space. Same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means 
when power failure we can lose the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be accessed by the central unit store the data in memory the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this first to an internal memory such as internal storage devices secondary memory to external storage devices the data or information it is storing is the data cannot be directly processed by the process in secondary memory transfers the data first memory and transfers back to the from there we can access the data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer so it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports now coming to input devices input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer 
they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane com computer output microfilm speakers headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have eight bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of 
input devices these gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information output here it can highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time now coming to the memory again here in this memory we are having two types of memories primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot loss the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose 
every application on a computer first loads into the RAM that is random access memory which makes it faster to access. So this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices. Now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent. The data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs etc. So generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections. We will see what are all the port. Port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These connect monitors, webcam, speakers or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer. They cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually we will see that from the, on the display. 
projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane com computer output microfilm speakers headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have eight bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices these gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu 
is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time now coming to the memory again here in this memory we are having two types of memories primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot lost the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the ram that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit from there we can access the data 
secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer so it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports now coming to input devices in only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane 
कॉम कंप्यूटर आउटपुट माइक्रोफिल्म स्पीकर्स हेडफोन विजुअल डिस्प्ले यूनिट फिल्म रिकॉर्डर दिस आर ऑल द सम ऑफ द आउटपुट डिवाइसेस दिस इज अबाउट ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर इनपुट डिवाइसेस सीपीयू आउटपुट डिवाइसेस मेमोरी स्टोरेज डिवाइसेस right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is our bits that is bit is read as binary digit as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have eight bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word or numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices this gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it 
this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time now coming to the memory again here in this memory we are having two types of memories primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is store a space same as for computer it is a store a space like a physical device storing data or program temporarily or per permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot lose the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the ram that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit from there we can access the data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer 
this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These connect monitors, webcam, speakers or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer, they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we we'll see that from the, on the projection or it is physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card which are all output devices. These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector, LCD projection plane, COM computer output microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory 
we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 8 bit 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices these gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step 
एथमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट एग्जीक्यूट एथमेटिक और लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एथमेटिक मीन्स एडिशन सप्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन गो ऑन लाइक दैट सेम एज लॉजिकल एंड और नॉट ऑपरेशन दैट इज द एल यू इज गिवेन कंट्रोल एंड परफॉर्म्स द एक्चुअल ऑपरेशन ऑन द डेटा दिस स्टोर्स द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस ऑपरेशन इन मेमोरी और इन ए रजिस्टर दिस थर्ड एंड फोर्थ स्टेप टूगेदर कॉल्ड एज एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम नाउ कमिंग टू द मेमोरी अगेन हियर इन दिस मेमोरी वी आर हैविंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ मेमोरीज primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and in for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot loss the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer first loads into the ram that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit from there we can access the data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam 
speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer so it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface if that side is fixed then we are using better connectors rather than ports now coming to input devices input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer coming to microphone it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually we we'll see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector lcd projection plane com computer output microfilm speakers headphone visual display unit film recorder these are all the some of the output devices this is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory same as storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result this is the computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as 
binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bits holds either 0 or 1 now we'll see byte byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1 that is bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 7 that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128 this is what about 1 byte it is said to be 1 byte a word is a group of 16 bits same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits a word is a group of 8 bits bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits so this is bit individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes now coming to the block diagram of a computer it consists of input devices these gives the input to the processing unit that is cpu which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices in between this cpu consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals this is the cpu that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit arithmetic logic unit and a memory this is cpu is a heart of the computer this is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do and this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit here the data converts input data to information as an output here it is a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions and here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction first step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory and the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit these two steps are together called as instruction time first step and second step are together called as instruction time now coming to the third step arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical options for example arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication go on like that same as logical and or not operations that is the alu is given control and performs the actual operation on the data this stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register this third and fourth step together called as execution time now in the memory here in this memory we are having two types of memories
primary memory and secondary memory that is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval same just like our human brain memory is it is storage space same as for computer it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot lose the data primary memory is a memory of computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit when we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed that is we can access the information very fastly it is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose every application on a computer sync to the ram that is random access memory which makes is it faster to access so this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent the data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit from there we can access the data secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk hard disk magnetic tapes cds dvds etc these are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes to connect all these peripherals we need now ports and connections we'll see what are all the port port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer this port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires after ports are connected they typically require handshaking where transfer type transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent bend pins these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer 
So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output, the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which output from the user and sends the data to the computer, they cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices. Output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we will see that from the, on the display, projection or it is physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card. which or all output devices. These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer. For example, plotter, projector, LCD projection plane, COM computer output microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. Right? What are all the input devices? Keyboard, mouse, and output devices, printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory. Same as storage, primary storage and secondary storage. And CPU, which processes the burning. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes and sends that processor information to the output devices as a result. This is the computer. The computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. This is a binary digits. That is bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds that is bit holds either 0 or 1. Now we will see byte. Byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1. That is bit on the right side that is the least significant zeros and here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, so on up to 2 power 7. That represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit 1 byte, it is to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits, same as here 1 byte is a 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word or word starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. So this is bit, individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes.
Now to the block diagram of a computer. It consists of input devices. These gives the input to the processing unit that is CPU, which executes. That is, we understand and process that and use as an output from the output device. In between, the CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This is the CPU. It is. It consists of. It is a central processing unit which consists of a hardware unit, atomic logic unit, and a memory. This is CPU is a hard the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program, which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit. Here. The data converts data to information as an output. Here, it consists a highly complex, extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions. And here, it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory. And the second step is this decodes that instruction. And directs that necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction first step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not operations. That is, the ALU is given. Control and performs the actual operation on the data. This stores the result of the operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again here in the memory we are having two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Same just like our human brain, memory is storage space. Same as for computer is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage. Is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory. Data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Where in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, we cannot lose the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When we store the data in a primary memory, then the computer can be accessed that is very fastly. It is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs. Frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the Processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first would run that is random access memory, which makes it faster to access. So this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices. Now coming to secondary memory, it refers to external devices that is the data stores or information is in common. The data cannot be directly used by the processing unit in secondary memory, but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there, we can access the data. Secondary memory is all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs, etc. These are generally slower than primary memory, but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these peripherals, we need now ports and connections. We will see what are all the ports. Port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection found on front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. 
in computer terms port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices these are all the input and output devices for connecting these input devices and output devices for our cpu we need ports and connections computer ports have many uses these connect monitors webcam speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects again in this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair going to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires After ports are connected, the digital equipment hashing, where transfer type, transfer rate, and other necessary information is shared. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now come to input devices input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the cpu and sends the output to the output devices the most commonly used input devices are keyboard mouse microphone webcam keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer they cannot accept or reproduce information for the computer a microphone is a sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer coming to webcam it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer this is about input devices coming to output devices output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually you see that from on the display projection or it is physical reproduction is a monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices these are all our output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used An output device may be used with a computer, for example, plotter, projector, LCD projection plane, com computer output microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory. storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory some storage primary storage and secondary storage and cpu which processes the given information this is about the block diagram of a computer what is a computer it is a machine which accepts data and processes it and since that process information to the output devices as a result this is a computer a computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones represents bit this is a binary digits that is bit is abbreviated as binary digit it is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system it holds that is bit holds either zero or one Bit. Byte is defined as a group of eight bits. It's called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from zero to one. That is, bit on the right side. That is the least significant bit, zeros. And here we have eight bits. That is starting from zero to seven. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on up to 2 power 
that represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits. So as here 1 byte is a 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word or numbers start from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. This is bit. Individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. Now coming to a block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. These gives the input to the processing unit that is CPU which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices. In between CPU consists of main memory as well as storage difference. This is the CPU that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a control unit, mathematic logic unit and a memory. The CPU is a heart of the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in program which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit. Here the data converts new data to information as an output. Here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions. And here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is it gets that means fetches the instructions from the memory. And the second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to move from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction time. First step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, that means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not operations. That is, the ALU is given control and performs the actual operation on the data. This stores the result of this operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now, coming to the memory. Again, here in this memory, we are having two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for store and retrieval. Since just like our human brain, memory is a storage space. Same as for computer, it is a storage space like a physical device which is full of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage. It is nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory the data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure where in case of secondary memory it is a permanent storage device that means when power failure we cannot lose the data primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit we store the data in a primary memory then the computer can be accessed we can access the information very fast. Memory which is used to store frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM that is random access memory which makes it faster to access. So, this refers to an internal memory such as in or information is only permanent. The data can be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory, but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there, we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs, etc. These are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these peripherals, we need now ports and connection. We see what are all the ports. Port refers to a hardware or 
peripheral is a hole or junction found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. Disconnect, monitors, webcam, speakers, or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again, this port it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then we are using better connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer. They can accept or reproduce information from the computer. From the microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. From the webcam, it receives images generated by whatever is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we will see that from the, on the display projection or it is physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card. Which are all output devices? These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer, for example, plotter, projector, LCD projection plane, com computer output microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film record. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. Right? What are the input devices? Keyboard, mouse, and output devices, printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory, some storage, primary storage, and secondary storage, and CPU, which processes the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and process and sends that process information to the output devices as a result. This is a computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. This is our binary digits. That is, bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds that bit holds either zero or one. Now we'll see byte. Byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is byte. Bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1. That is, bit on the right side, that is the least significant bit, zeros. And here we have 8 bits, that is starting from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The left side is the most significant bit. And offset how it represents is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 
so on up to 2 power 7. That represents 2 power 0 1 as well. 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits. Same as here, 1 byte is 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15. So, they are 16 bits. So, this is bit. We did it. And byte is set of 8 bits. And a word is 16 bits, which is 2 bytes. Now, coming to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. This gives the input to the processing unit, that is the CPU, which executes, that is, which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output devices. In between, the CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This is the CPU, that is, it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists of control unit, arithmetic logic unit. This CPU is a heart of the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in program which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in part of the machine this is the central processing unit. Here, the data converts into data information as an output. It consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions. And here, it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is, it gets, that means fetches the instructions from the memory. And the second step is, this decodes that instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction time. First step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes Arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not operations. That is, the A is given control and performs the actual operation on the data. This stores result of this operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now, coming to the memory. Again, in this memory, we have two types of memories. memory and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Same just like a human brain, memory is storage space. Same as for computer, it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage. Nothing but why we call it as primary memory is a volatile memory. The data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Where in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, we cannot lose the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When we store the data in a primary memory, then the computer can be accessed. That is, we can access the information very fastly. It is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs, frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM, that is random access, which makes it faster to access. So, this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices. Now, coming to secondary memory, it refers to external storage devices, that is, the data source or information storing is permanent. The data cannot be directly processed by processing unit in secondary memory, but it transfers the data first into the memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there, we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs, etc. These are generally slower than primary memory, but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To get all these peripherals, we need now ports and connections. We'll see what all the ports. What refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection 
found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These connect monitors webcam, speakers or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire peg coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. Also, ports are connected the digital device where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for fixed size of an interface. If that side is fixed, then you are using better connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which access the input from the user and sends that data to the computer. They can accept or reproduce information from the computer. Come to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device any peripheral that receives the data from the computer usually is that on the display projection or this physical reproduction example monitor and printer these are the two most common output devices used with a computer every computer has a monitor that is a display screen a sound card and video card which are all output devices lower are output devices a printer is also very commonly used with computer depending on type of computer and how the computer is used other output devices may be used with a computer for example plotter projector, LCD projection plane, com, computer, output, microphone, speakers, headphone, digital display unit, film record. These are some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. And what are all the input devices? Keyboard, mouse, and output devices, printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary memory and secondary memory. Same as storage, primary storage and secondary storage and CPU which processes the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accesses data and processes it and sends that process information to the output devices as a result. This is the computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. These are binary digits. That is, bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds, it is, bit holds either 0 or 1. Now, we see byte. It is defined as a group of 8 bits. It is called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1. That is, Bit on the right side, that is the least significant bit, zeros. And here we have 8 bits, that is starting from 0 to 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So, left side is the most significant bit. And the offset how represents is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, so on up to 2 power 7. That represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well, 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit, 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits, same as here. 1 byte is 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word are numbered starting from 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. This is bit. Individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits. 
and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. Now according to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. This gives the input to the processing unit that is U which executes that is which understands and processes that and gives as an output from the output device. In between, this CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This is the CPU. It is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists of a control unit, arithmetic unit, and a memory. This is CU is a part of the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine is a central processing unit. Here, the data converts input data to information as an output. Here, it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions. And here, it, this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is, it gets, that means fetches the instructions from the memory. And the second step is, this decodes that instruction and directs that necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction time. First step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. It's as logical and or not operations. That is, the AU is given control and forms the actual operation on the data. This stores the result of this operation in memory or in a reserve. This third and fourth step to be called as division time. Now, coming to the memory. Again, here in this memory, we are having two types of memories. Primary and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Since just like our human brain, memory is it is storage space. Same as for computer, it is a storage space like a physical device which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be second storage and temporarily is primary storage. This is nothing but by going as primary memory is a volatile memory. The data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Where in soft secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, we cannot lose the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When we store the data in the primary memory, then the computer can be accessed. That is, we can access the information very fastly. It is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs, frequently used programs, which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM, that is random access memory, which makes it faster to access. So, this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices. Now, coming to secondary memory, it refers to internal storage devices, that is, the data stores or information it is storing is permanent. The data cannot be directly processed by the person unit in secondary memory, but transfers the data first into the memory and then transfers back to the processing unit. From that, we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnet tapes, CDs, DVDs, etc. These are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these peripherals, we need now ports and connections. Let's see what are the ports. Port refers to a hardware or peripheral is a hole or connection formed on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These connect monitors, webcam, speakers, or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. I mean this port is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer type, transfer rate and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins 
these pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If the site is fixed, then you are using better connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer. They cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the from the computer. Usually, this is from the disk projection or this physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card and video card. Which are all output devices. These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer. For example, plotter, projector. LCD projection plane, com computer output, microfilm, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the sum of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output device, memory, storage devices. And what are all the input devices? Keyboard, mouse, the output devices, printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed primary memory and secondary memory, some storage. Primary storage and secondary storage and CPU which process the given information. This is what block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that processed information to the output devices as a result. This is the computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine language that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. This is a binary digits. That is bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds, it holds either 0 or 1. Now we will see byte. Byte is defined as a group of 8 bits. It is called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1. That is, bit on the right side that is the least significant bit, zeros. And here we have 8 bits that is starting from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Left side is the most significant bit. The offset how it represents is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, so on up to 2 power 7. That represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well. 2 power 7 is 128. This is what about 8 bit 1 byte. It is said to be 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits. Same as here, 1 byte is a 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word are numbered starting from again 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. This is bit, individual bit, and byte is set of 8 bits, and a word is 16 bits, which is 2 bytes. Now, to the block diagram of a computer, it consists of input devices. This gives the input to the processing unit, that is the CPU, which executes, which understands and processes that, and gives as an output from the output devices. In between, this CPU consists of main memory as well as storage pairs. This is the CPU, that is, it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists of a control unit, arithmetic logic unit, and a memory. The CPU is a heart of the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine that is the central processing unit. Here, the data converts
input data to information as an output. Here it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes stored program instructions. These two steps all together are called as instruction line. First and second step all together called as instruction line. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Instead of logic and or not operations, that is AU is then controlled and performs the actual operation on the data. This was the result of this operation in memory or a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again here in this memory, we have two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. This memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Since just like a human brain, memory is a storage space. Same as for it is a storage space like a physical device which is called storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage. This is nothing but why we call it as the primary memory is a volatile memory. The data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Where in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, you do not lose the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When we store the data in a primary memory, then the computer can be accessed. That is, we can access the information very fastly. It is a memory which is stored frequently and programs frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM, that is random access memory, which makes it faster to access. So this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage device. Now into secondary memory, it refers to external storage devices, that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent. The data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory, but it transfers the data first into the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there, we access the data. Second memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disk, hard disk, magnetic tapes, CDs, DVDs, etc. These are the most slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect to all these we need now ports and connections. Port refers to hardware or peripheral is a hole or cushion found on the front or back of computer. This port serves as an interface between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port referred as a part of computing device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For connecting to these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These connect monitors, webcam, speakers or any other peripheral devices on physical layer. A computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again, in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and raises one bit at a time via a single byte pair. Coming to parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, a pickle handling where transcribed, transcribed, and the necessary information is shared before data is sent. Then means these things are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So it was common to use connectors for the fixed size of an interface. If the size is fixed, then we will need better connectors rather than ports. Now coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that from the CPU and sends the output to the output device. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which access input from the user and sends the data to the computer. They cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound that is generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer. Usually, we see that from the display projection or display reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that is a display screen, a sound card, and a video card. Which are all output devices? These are all our output devices. 
A printer is also very commonly used with computers, depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output vectors may be used with a computer, for example, plotter, footer, executioner, com, computer output, microphone, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film record. These are the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input device, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. What all input devices? Input, mouse, output devices, printer, loader, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have store primary memory and secondary memory, some as storage, primary storage and secondary storage, and CPU, which process the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends that process information to the output devices as a result. This is a computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine numbers that is zeros and ones. Represents bit. This is a binary digits. That is, bit is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a small unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds that is bit holds either zero or one. Now we will see byte. Byte is defined as a group of eight bits. It is called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from zero to one. That is. Bit on the right side that is the least significant bit zeros and here we have eight bits that is starting from zero seven zero one two three four five six seven the so left side is the most significant bit and the offset how it represents is two power zero two power one two power two two power three so on up to two power seven that represents two power zero is one and then two power seven is one twenty eight this is what about eight bit one byte exactly one byte a word is a group of 16 bits. Same as here, 1 byte is 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in a word or number starting from 0 to 15 because it is a group of 16 bits. So this is bit, individual bit and byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 6 input to the processing unit that is CPU which executes that is which understands processes that and gives as an output from the output devices. In between, the CPU consists of main memory as well as storage peripherals. This is the CPU. That is, it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists of arithmetic, arithmetic logic unit and a memory. This is CPU is the heart of the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in a program which tells the computer what to do. And this computer does its primary work in a part of the machine, like the central processing unit. Here, the data converts input data to information as an output. Here, it consists a highly complex extensive set of electronic circuitry that executes through program instructions. And it, this central unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is, it gets that fetches the instructions from the memory. And this, this decodes the instruction and directs the necessary data to be moved from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are to be called as instruction time. First step, second step, are called as instruction time. Now coming to the third step, arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logic operations. For example, arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, like that. Same as logic and or not operator. That is, the ALU is given control and performs the actual operation on the data. This stores the result of this operation in memory or in images. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again, here in this memory, we have two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is, memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieving. Same as a human brain, memory is it is stored space. Same as a computer, it is a storage space like a physical device, just about string data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporary is primary storage. This is nothing that we call as primary memory is a volatile memory. The data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Well, in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, we cannot load the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When we store the data in primary memory, then the computer can be accessed. That is, we can access the information very fast. It is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs, frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM, this random access memory, which makes it faster to access. So, this refers to an internal memory, such as internal storage devices. Coming to secondary memory, it refers to external storage devices, that is, the data stores or information is stored is permanent. 
The data cannot be processed by processing unit, secondary memory, but it transfers data first in the main memory and then it transfers back to the processing unit. From there, we can access the data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as tapes, series, DVDs, etc. These are generally slower than primary memory but can store substantial amount of data in a range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these peripherals, we need now ports and connections. Let's see what are the ports. Port refers to a hardware or peripheral, is a hole or connection found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves as an phase between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. In computer terms, port refers as a part of the device available for connection to peripherals such as input and output devices. These are all the input and output devices. For cutting these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many use. These connect monitors, webcam, speakers, or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized plate on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again, in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. CA port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire pair. To parallel port sends multiple bits at the same time over several set of wires. After ports are connected, they typically require handshaking, where transfer time, transfer rate, and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Bend pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So it was common to use connectors for the fixed side of an interface. If that side is fixed, then using better connectors rather than ports. Now coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input data to a computer and it processes them from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse, which accepts the input from the user and sends that data to the computer, they cannot accept or refuse information from the computer. Coming to microphone, it receives sound generated by an input source and sends that sound to a computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is the input device. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral that receives the data from the computer, usually based on, on the display, projection, or a physical reproduction. Example, monitor and printer. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor, as a display screen, a sound card, and video card, which are all output devices. These are all our output devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other output devices may be used with a computer, for example, plotter, projector, LCD projection ray, form computer output, microphone, speakers, headphone, visual limit, film recorder. These are some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer. Input devices, CPU, output devices, memory, storage devices. And for all the input devices, keyboard, mouse, and output devices printer, plotter, display screen, etc. And in the memory, we have discussed about primary and secondary memory, the mass storage, primary storage and secondary storage, and CPU, which processes the given information. This is about the block diagram of a computer. What is a computer? It is a machine which accepts data and processes it and sends the processor information to the output devices. This is the computer. A computer is an electronic machine which understands machine and states zeros and ones. Represents it. This is a binary digits. That is, B is abbreviated as binary digit. It is defined as a smallest unit of data on a binary computer or digital system. It holds, that is, it stores either 0 or 1. Now we will see byte. Byte is defined as a group of 8 bits is called a byte. Bits in a byte are represented from 0 to 1. That is, bit on the right side, that is the least significant bit, zeros. And here we have 8 bits, that is starting from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The left side is the most significant bit. And the offset how it represents is 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, so on up to 2 power 7. That represents 2 power 0 is 1 as well 2 power 7 is 1 bit. This is what 8 bit 1 byte. It is 1 byte. A word is a group of 16 bits. Same as here, 1 byte is a 8 bits. A word is a group of 8 bits. Bits in word or not starting from again 0 50 because it is a group of 16 bits. So this is it. Usually in byte is set of 8 bits and a word is 16 bits which is 2 bytes. Now coming to the block of computer, it consists of 8 devices. These gives the input to the process unit that is the CPU which executes that is and stands and processes that and gives an output from the output device. 
in between the CPU consists of memory as well as storage errors. This is a CPU that is it consists of this is a central processing unit which consists a controller and logically and a memory. This is CPU is a heart of the computer. This is the component that actually executes the instructions organized in program which the computer what to do. And this computer this is primarily work part of the machine that is the central processing unit. Here the data converts input data to information as an output. Here it consists a highly complex extensive set of tools actually that executes store program instructions. And here it this central processing unit performs four steps for each instruction. First step is it gets that means just the instructions from the memory. And second step is this decodes that instruction and directs that result data to move from memory to the arithmetic logic unit. These two steps are together called as instruction time. First step and second step are together called as instruction time. Now come to the third step. Arithmetic logic unit executes arithmetic or logical operations. It's the arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, go on like that. Same as logical and or not That is, the ALU is doing control and performs the actual operation on the data. This shows the result of this operation in memory or in a register. This third and fourth step together called as execution time. Now coming to the memory. Again in this memory, we are having two types of memories. Primary memory and secondary memory. That is memory is a brain of a computer which stores data and information for storing and retrieval. Same just like human brain, memory is it is storage space. Same as for computer, it is a storage space like physical space, which is capable of storing data or programs temporarily or permanently. Permanently is said to be secondary storage and temporarily is primary storage. This is nothing but why we call it a primary memory is a volatile memory. The data is liable to change or loss in case of power failure. Where in case of secondary memory, it is a permanent storage device. That means when power failure, we cannot lose the data. Primary memory is a memory of a computer which can be directly accessed by the central processing unit. When store the data in a primary memory, then the computer can be accessed. That is, we can access the information very fastly. It is a memory which is used to store frequently and programs, frequently used programs which can be directly accessed by the processing unit for further purpose. Every application on a computer first loads into the RAM that is random access memory which makes it faster to access. So this refers to an internal memory such as internal storage devices. Now coming to secondary memory it refers to external storage devices that is the data stores or information it is storing is permanent. The data cannot be directly processed by the processing unit in secondary memory, but it transfers the data first in the memory and then transfers back to the processing unit from the data as a data. Secondary memory refers to all external devices such as floppy disks, hard disks, magnetic tapes, SIDs, DVDs, etc. This is generally stored in memory that can store such amount of data in the range of gigabytes and terabytes. To connect all these data, we need now ports and connections. See what refers to a hard disk or peripheral is a whole of connection found on the front or back of the computer. This port serves and is between the computer and other computer peripheral devices. Sometimes, port referred to a part of the device available for connection to others such as input output devices. This is on the input and output devices. Running these input devices and output devices for our CPU, we need ports and connections. Computer ports have many uses. These are monitors, BAM, peers, or any other peripheral devices. On physical layer, a computer port is a specialized object on piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Again, in this port, it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends and receives one bit at a time via a single wire cable. Coming to PAL port sends multiple bits at the same time over several sets of wires. After ports are connected, the typical request is where the type of it and other necessary information is shared before data is sent. Then pins. These pins are easier to replace on a cable than on a connector attached to the computer. So, it was common to use connectors for the fixed size and interface. If the size is fixed, then we are using the connectors rather than ports. Now, coming to input devices. Input devices only allow for input of data to a computer and it processes that 
from the CPU and sends the output to the output devices. The most commonly used devices are keyboard, mouse, microphone, webcam. Keyboard and mouse which access the input from the user and sends the data to the computer. They cannot accept or reproduce information from the computer. From the microphone, it receives sound generated by input source and sends that sound to the computer. Coming to webcam, it receives images generated by whatever it is pointed at input and sends those images to the computer. This is about input devices. Coming to output devices, output device is any peripheral receives it from the computer. Usually, we see that on the display projection or it is physical reproduction. Example, monitor and internet. These are the two most common output devices used with a computer. Every computer has a monitor that displays screen, sound card, and video card. Or all devices. A printer is also very commonly used with computers depending on the type of computer and how the computer is used. Other devices may be used with a computer, for example, plotter, projector, LCD projection plane, com computer, microphone, speakers, headphone, visual display unit, film recorder. These are all the some of the output devices. This is about block diagram of a computer input devices cpu output devices memory storage devices right what are all the input devices keyboard mouse and output devices printer plotter display screen etc and in the memory we have discussed about primary memory and secondary
सारी मेमोरी सिस्टम एज स्टोरेज प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी स्टोरेज एंड सी पी यू विच प्रोसेस द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन दिस इज अबाउट द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर What is a computer? Ports and connections. Computer ports are many use. These connect monitors, webcam, CPUs, or any other peripheral devices on physical layer. A computer port is a specialized outlet on a piece of equipment to which a plug or a cable connects. Means it is divided into two groups based on the signal transfer. Serial port sends 